me. This is the conference coordinator. This call is now being recorded. Thank you. You may begin. This webinar will focus on the role of, small, of the small business counselor in export promotion. The agenda includes a discussion of the small business TPCC export trade counselor certification, introduction to the trade promotion coordinating committee, um, description of the national export initiative, and discussion of the role of the small business counselor and of export outreach teams. This webinar series prepares counselors for an online exam, which confers certification at the introductory or intermediate levels. This first webinar is part of the introductory series. The objective of these certification levels is to broaden awareness of exporting and to begin preparing more counselors to become Certified Global Business Professionals, or CGBP. The CGBP is issued by North American Small Business International Trade Educators, or NASBITE, and is the industry standard for international trade knowledge, also used by the U.S. Department of Commerce in training their domestic and foreign commercial service trade specialists and officers. In September 2010, Congress passed the Small Business Jobs Act. The act required SBA to certify a percentage of Small Business Development Center and Women's Business Center counselors in international trade counseling. The intermediate level certification provided by these webinar series and the NASBY CGBP will satisfy the requirements of the Small Business Jobs Act. While you are familiar with SBA, you may not have heard of the Trade Promotion Coordinating Committee, or TPCC for short. The TPCC is housed in the Department of Commerce and is charged with coordinating the 20 U.S. federal agencies with, which deal with trade. Primary tasks of the TPCC include establishing priorities across government, coordinating new programs and initiatives, improving services, uh, avoiding duplication, and reporting to Congress. There are several established coordination mechanisms of the TPCC which you may be familiar with already. U.S. Export Assistance Centers, the Trade Information Center, 1-800-USA-TRADE, the Advocacy Center, and Export.gov, the federal government-wide export assistance portal. The President launched the National Export Initiative in his State of the Union Address in January 2010 with the goal of doubling exports over five years that is by the end of 2014, and supporting 2 million jobs in America through exports. In September 2010, the new Export Promotion Cabinet defined a set of 70 recommendations in its NEI report to the President. And in June 2011, the TPCC reported on implementation of these recommendations in its annual National Export Strategy Report to Congress. The NEI establishes eight priorities for government action. The main goal of the NEI is to expand the U.S. government's export promotion efforts. It educates the U.S. businesses about opportunities overseas, helps them to develop export strategies, introduces them to potential partners, buyers, and distributors. The first five focus points on our focus on export services provided by the U.S. government and their resource partners. The number one priority is small business. Another four priorities focus on improving services to exporters, including federal export assistance, such as trade shows and trade missions, tra uh, commercial advocacy, and increasing export credit. The remaining three focus on removing trade barriers, rebalancing global economy, and increasing the focus on, on exports of U.S. services. While exporting takes extra effort and management commitments, there are many reasons for small business to become an active exporter. First of all, exporters are more competitive than non-exporters, given that they have diversified markets and knowledge of foreign competition. Exporters, on average, pay that are capable of paying their workers higher wages and higher benefits. 
they are also less likely to go out of business. Exporting for even in a, a small business is attractive because the rest of the world is growing rapidly. More than 1 billion new middle class consumers are expected worldwide in the next 15 years. Small businesses have also proven themselves to be competitive and a growing part of the overall mix of U.S. exports. In fact, small businesses have steadily increased their share of overall U.S. exports from 26% in 2002 to 33% in 2009, the most recent data available. With over 1,500 small business counselors, SBA resource partners are critical to meeting the President's ambitious goal of doubling exports by the end of 2014. Small business counselors are uniquely placed to assess a company's export readiness and to ask that crucial question, have you thought about exporting? Many companies are unaware that there is a market for their products or services overseas. The map above shows the broad national coverage of SBA district offices, of which there are almost about 70, SBDCs of nearly 1,000, score locations, of around 350, micro lenders of about 200, women's business centers, of which there are 110, U.S. export assistance centers, of which there are 19, these are the co-located one-stop shops with SBA and commerce, and veterans business outreach centers, of which there are 16. Export outreach teams bring together the business client networks and international trade expertise of government agencies. SBA resource partners, civic organizations, educational organizations, and anyone else who can help identify potential exporters or can help small businesses to export. A typical export outreach team will include all the local SBA resource partners, the SBA district office, U.S. Export Assistance Center staff, local business incubators, world trade centers, local district export council members, international bankers, and freight forwarders. Successful exporting requires solid business planning and expertise in several areas. The members of an export outreach team workshop can be a resource for counselors and small businesses in topics as diverse as international trade finance, foreign buyer matchmaking, and foreign market sanitary phytosanitary requirements. Export outreach teams are kicked off by a training workshop where the local community of business counselors, along with local ex exporting experts, are identified and a referral strategy for that locality is created. Export outreach team training workshops focus on first identifying businesses export potential based on certain characteristics and prior export experience. And secondly, discussing referral strategies for those businesses. This slide describes the characteristics of the four main categories of small businesses with regard to exporting. That is non-exporter, not ready to export, new to export, and new to market. The slide also suggests some referral strategies for these companies. Non-exporters are individuals with no clear exportable good or service or track record of sales. They could be referred to self-help resources, such as on sba.gov, or to a SCORE or Women's Business Center for mentoring. Not ready to export firms have an established business in sales, but lack management commitment or a business plan to exporting. These firms could be encouraged and refer to resources such as online counseling from SCORE or self-help on export.gov. New to export companies are also established firms. They may not have exported recently, but show the capacity and the managerial commitment to become successful exporters. These firms should be referred to SBDC export counselors or international trade centers of the SBDC. Finally, new-to-market firms are current exporters in one or more markets. The goal with these companies is to expand their global presence to new markets and therefore the value of their exports. A good referral for these firms would be the U.S. Commercial Service 
U.S. Export Assistance Centers. The value of the Export Outreach Team Workshop comes from a full discussion of these referral options and defining a referral strategy which leverages local resources to best assist small business exporters. Not every community is the same and each referral strategy will reflect the unique resources available in the local area. The main goal is to give you, the small business counselor, some tools to begin exploring the export potential of your clients. That concludes the first webinar in the introductory series. You are encouraged to continue with the introductory series, the online test, and then to move on to the intermediate level. Thank you very much.